Hey guys, on Mom Mom here. And today I'm going to show you a recreation of the game Anti Chamber in Minecraft. Uh, so in case you didn't know, Anti Chamber is just a game where you're running around in these chambers, kind of like Portal, except you want you don't have a portal gun and there's no tormenting robot talking to you. Anti Chamber more messes with your mind, as in when you walk into down a tunnel and turn around. It's not a tunnel. Everything changes. Okay, so before I'll show you all the redstone, I'll actually do it. Now, when I pressed that button, you notice it changed my game mode, gave me a certain amount of experience, and gave me a bottle of enchanting. So, this was actually from one of Seth Bling's videos. And, uh,. You can go watch that video by clicking the link on your screen right now. Okay. So then, basically, in his video, he showed a way to activate something just while you without using commands. And this was simply by throwing the bottle of enchanting at your feet. And it would know that, and it would teleport you somewhere or do something else. So how that works is I have a clock constantly testing for a player that has exactly the level 1. And if he does, it will change the game mode, teleport, say thanks for playing, and uh, move all the levels. So that's one part. The main part has yet to come. So, coming around in these chambers, we have a, red, a choice of red or blue. I think I'll pick the red. And then uh, we just walk over here. Da, 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 and then we have another choice. Red didn't seem to work out because it's just repeated, so I'll take blue. Da, 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 and we have another choice. Now, this actually, this exact thing happened. In the game of anti chamber, when you take either of these choices, it would just keep going on and on and giving you the same choice. So, yeah, when in the game anti chamber, and as in this, the real correct option was to actually go backward. And it's, you'll notice it's not where you originally came from. Instead, it just gives you some gold every time you open it. Of a chest. So yeah. Now, if I just end the game here, onto how it works. So basically, when you start the game, it will uh, teleport you. Tell you tell you how to end the game by throwing the bottle of enchanting on your feet, and reset your levels to 16 of, out of 17 experience. So when you throw the bottle of enchanting at your feet, it'll give you a, it will give you a level and then that clock over there will activate. Now there's a blank one for some reason. This it will also give you a bottle of enchanting and change your game mode. So onto how things change behind you. I have three command blocks right here that will test your location. And you are standing at one of these locations within a radius of one of these locations. It will emit a single a signal of how many players match to that data. And then it will teleport you somewhere else. Now you you shouldn't really notice this teleportation because that somewhere else looks exactly the same. However, there were some quite noticeable changes that would happen. Like you would, if you once you're teleported, you just uh, kind of little jump a little. Now to stop this, because you didn't see me jump. Uh, I used half slabs because when you teleported from one half slab to another half slab, there is no jump. So yeah, that's why I used half slabs. Now, if you see here, if I turn 
my chat back on. I had it off because I didn't want you to see the uh, teleportations when I teleported. So if I walk over here, there was kind of a flash. Not too noticeable though. And then in the chat you can see I was teleported. Same things happens with these two t options. I was teleported to the same place right there. Go back. And then, since I am, since this chamber right here will teleport you to this chamber, where you came from will be different. And that's how I got this gold chest. Which is just powered by uh, a dropper directly under a trap chest. So when you open the trap chest, it will free the dropper and add one more into it. So, uh, yeah, I think that's it. Uh, you can download this map with the link in the description. And thank you for watching.